Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbit Tree and Yarns LLC. We're going to show you how to use these hand carders to hand card cashmere. And we're going to talk a little bit about it. We have some cashmere from uh, a goat. Cashmere comes from goats. They're a, uh, it's a wooled breed. And it is mainly the undercoat that we really pick off. So we have, well there's different kinds of cashmere goats and then there's all sorts of blends of goats and really it actually gets a bit more complicated but for now cashmere comes from a goat so the next part is the carters that we're going to use I have my Howard hand carters these are the hand carters the first hand carters I ever had I've had these hand carters forever this if you're looking for hand carters uh, you could go to howardbrush.com I don't have a link right now but just howardbrush.com and these are 190 teeth per inch. They are uh, just extremely, extremely durable hand carters. They've they've lasted uh, years through a whole bunch of stuff. So definitely my favorite hand carters. And what we're gonna start out doing, I'll show you. We're gonna go and view the hand carters here. So we have one hand carter. Roll up our sleeves a little bit and another hand carter to the side. We're going to take just a little bit. Um, it looks like we have two different colors in here. We have a bit of this, it's more of a cream, and then we have a bit more of a brown. So we're going to blend in the cream as best as we can with the, with the brown. So that means taking little bits of the cream and the brown together and loading the hand carter. So cashmere does not necessarily, this cashmere does not have a long staple length that means that the each fiber is not very very long it's shorter so different breeds of wooled animals will grow their fiber different lengths so we're really gonna load this up here really gonna put this on the carter this hasn't been washed this fiber is uh, just straight off the animal not washed at all and that's okay you don't have to wash the fiber before you cart it These are great hand carters because this is a fine fiber. Now when I look at this, I think, hmm, you know what? We can make more. We can blend more on here. Put a little bit more wool. So that's what we'll do. We're going to just load a little bit. You can load either carter. It doesn't matter. Um, typically, you'd want to load the carter with the wool on it, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I just put a little bit more on here, add a little bit of that cream color, kind of spread it out, blend it together a little bit here, and then we take the hand carter that has the wool that we already carded, and we're going to transfer this, uh, this cashmere onto it. So now there's a bit more wool on this carter. We put the carter down. And you can see this has a small staple length. You can tell because when you turn the carter over, it doesn't come up much. You can't see it coming up much from the hand carter. That says very uh, shorter staple length. And I didn't clean these carters off like usual before I started carting. So um, I have to clean a little bit of other fiber off of it because I don't want a mix of fiber in here of what I was carting previous which is actually uh, some recycled silk. Sorry. There we go. So we have a carded roll egg. We're just going to set that to the side. We're going to repeat the process. So we grab some more cashmere. And when I'm carding, I don't card, I typically don't card uh, slowly. I typically card quite fast because I'm carding for production. I'm carting for work. I'm carting for, um, for, you know, um, a business. So this is something that when I card, I'm going to want my, a good time to get to is around one ounce of fiber being carded in 10 minutes. Just around that. Sometimes you'll find you you can uh, really speed that up. Sometimes, depending on the fiber you're working with, it takes a little bit longer. 
So you'll see I'm repeating the process I did with the last carter, the last uh, Rolex, where I loaded this card. Now I'm going to load a bit more, and I'm going to put more on the carter. So this may have vegetable matter in it because it's not washed. It may have plant uh, matter, animal matter maybe in this. So there we go again. This is the view from the back. We do the same thing. We just roll it off. And this is what we're, these are called roll eggs. We're going to use these to spin the yarn from. So keep going here. So I don't have cashmere goats. I don't raise cashmere goats. And um, this is so this is fiber I'm just going to be carting and spinning up for a friend. I typically just work uh, more with the Angora and Angora blends. Although there's of course, it's always fun to try out all sorts of different fiber. So cashmere, again, is a very fine fiber. It is the width or the diameter of the, each individual fiber, the micron count, so how wide it is, is actually quite low. It's not very wide across, and that makes it fine, that makes it soft. Uh, that's part of why cashmere is very desirable as a next-to-skin um, next piece of clothing or next-to-skin wool, because it is something that it's not prickly, it doesn't really itch. It's, it doesn't have those sort of factors because it's so thin. So, we have a little kitty at the door again here who wants to come in. Hi. She always likes to see what's going on. My guess is there's only, this is the second to last row leg. We're going to spin this up into a single. And we're going to use a ball winder and we're going to wind it back on itself. Um, we're going to apply it back on itself, not wind it back on itself. So we'll spin from a center pull ball and this will make quite a nice yarn. So our roll eggs, we're going to end up with five roll eggs, and the last roll egg is likely going to be quite small. Because I'm wearing black pants, if you were to look closely, you'd see a lot of the debris has come out on my pants. So a lot of the vegetable matter, whether it's pieces of grass or hay, a little bit of pet dander, the, the goat dander, that's on there. And that's normal with hand carding. It will come out. Uh, not everything will come out with hand carding. Sometimes if you have a really heavily soiled fleece, if it has a lot of vegetable matter in it, if it has a lot of dander or debris in it, animal debris, it can be a bit more difficult. Uh, you might want to send it through a picker first. You might want to try washing it first. But really when you open up, when you get, if there's any oil in the fiber you're working with, you want to open up the fibers, you know, help get a bit more of that oil off. So now, this is the last one. This is a bit of a lighter roll egg. It's smaller. And that's about what we have here. So if I want to, I can just do a little bit. There's a few pieces here on my hand carter. I can just grab some of that off. Um, they don't have to be perfectly cleaned. Get a bunch of fluff off there. And we're done. We have five roll eggs. They're just light, fluffy roll eggs. We're going to spin that up and then you end up with a beautiful cashmere yarn. And this is all natural colors, just completely beautiful, beautiful and really fun to work with. This isn't a very, you're not gonna feel a ton of, a ton of grease compared to some breeds um, of either goats or sheep do have a lot more, uh, you'll feel a bit more grease on there. Um, but this really doesn't have a lot on it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and we will see you in our next video.